Dr. James L. Tan graduated from Grace Christian College, then Grace Christian High School, in 1958 for English High School, and in 1959 for Chinese Senior High School. After high school, he went to the University of the Philippines in Diliman and graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. He earned his Master of Engineering Administration and Doctor of Science, Minor in Education, from George Washington University, USA. Dr. Tan was an Operations Research Analyst with the U.S. Office of Personal Management in Washington, D.C., USA. When he returned to the Philippines, he received the Balik Scientist Award from the DOST Department of Science and Technology, formerly known as the National Science Development Board. This is an award given by the Philippine government for his love for the country and as he shares his expertise in the field of science and technology. He has served at Grace Christian College for over 40 years in different capacities as teacher, business manager, vice principal, principal, and president. Recently, he was given the Outstanding Principal Award by the prestigious Cebu Inchik Foundation in its annual search for outstanding president and model teachers from different Filipino Chinese schools all over the Philippines. Currently, Dr. James L. Tan is the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Grace Christian College, Philippines. It is my honor to present to you Dr. James L. Tan. Good day to all of you, alumni of the North American Alumni Association. We are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the founding of Grace Christian College. I'm honored to say some words of greetings to all of you and proud that you are still all with us. First, it is a joy to be with you I was your principal and then president, and you won't believe it, I enjoyed every minute because of you. Let us continue to be together. For many years, the school's board of trustees have mandated me, reminded me to find a successor. They said, James, you are not getting any younger. I know what it meant. You must find a successor. The Board of Trustees have been after me all these years, and I have perfectly, conscientiously, these many years, really seriously looked for one who can fit me and succeed me. It is not easy to find one. I know, because I've been more than 30 years, it takes sacrifice, it takes dedication, it takes God's calling, it takes to walk the second mile. One must have the calling. It is not easy to find one. There must be a con deep conviction and humbly receive this mandate. It is not a cup of tea in a bed of roses. Finally, after three or four years, of searching or more, praying constantly, and depending on God's leading, God sent Christine to be in the line of sight. I feel it is God's timing and his perfect will. Today, God has provided Dr. Christine Joy Tan. She is God's anointed, a capable yet humble and dedicated educator, servant, and above all, a scholar dedicated to God and his calling to be my successor. Dr. Christine Joy is a daughter of my second brother, Dr. Paul Lee Tan. You know him. Dr. Paul Tan is the, the founding pastor of Grace Christian Church of the Philippines. Senior Pastor Emeritus of Grace Christian 
church and also the senior emeritus chaplain of our school, Grace Christian College. Dr. Christine Joy is very gifted. She has earned two PhDs. One is Bible Exposition from Dallas Theological Seminary and the other Summa Cum Laude from the North Texas University and Education. And you may not know, she is now working on her own on an MBA so that she can be related to the current trend in education. She is really a dedicated scholar and a very humble servant of the Lord. She is already serving the school for about six months. Let us value and support her. Pray for her. She's a godsend to our school. I am very relieved. I can conclude that she is God-ordained and appointee as president to our school. Today we are rejoicing in celebrating the 70th anniversary of our school. There are four points that I would like to give you. First, we must remember our heritage and legacy. As you know, Grace Christian High School and now college was started by my mother, Mrs. Julia Tan, and missionary Reverend Edwin Spar and Mrs. Edwin Spar. They had no children and I had no father. My father died of cancer when I was eight years old. God took him home. We call ourselves the Spartans. I have no father image. I call them dad and mom. They call me Jimmy, my child. We call ourselves the Spartans family. By faith in July 5, 1950, as many of you know, with borrowed land, borrowed money, borrowed construction loan, borrowed teachers, faithful parents, with just a verse from the Bible, 1 John 5, 14, it says, when you ask anything according to my will, I will hear it. By faith, they started the school in July of 1950 in Naktahan Street, near the Naktahan Bridge, with land loaned by the Sisip family, the father Alfonso, and the two children, John and Paul Sisip. Grace Christian High School started in that Naktahan site, and God has blessed. Today, Mrs. Julia Tan, my mother, looked for a larger piece of land. She found one. She, and we have since relocated to a larger 10 hectare North Balintawak piece of land. But where is North Balintawak? This is where you are standing on now, where I'm standing on. That is the old name of our school site. That's it is in North Balintawak. The school suggested to Mayor Amoranto, the mayor of Quezon City, to change the name to Grace Village. Therefore, the school started Grace Village and named it instead of North Balintawak to Grace Village. So the school moved to Grace Village. The school did not relocate to an existing village called Grace Village. No, it started Grace Village from scratch. And it has grown. Grace Village has grown. Today, in spite of the pandemic, we have more than 1,900 students enrolled. God is good to us. We are growing and we will continue to grow. We will make Grace Christian College grow and excel to honor our Lord. Thank you for your support. Some of you have been studying in our school since elementary, junior high school, senior high school, and even college. Some even started in kindergarten. Remember those days when you were in pre-education and elementary? Some of your parents may even be the first student body 
in July 5, 1950, the first day the school started in Naktahan, your parents were there. I was there. Our first day in July 5, we did not have any classes. Why? All our students, I was in grade 3, we cleaned the floor of the sawdust left by the carpenters. We cleaned the floor. We love it. No studies. The first day of July 5. Alumni, congratulations. We are proud of you. God bless you. I hope all of us will treasure the founding goal of our school. Bring the child to Christ. Train him up in Christ and send him forth for Christ. This is our purpose that we will always adhere to. Thank you, parents, for sending your child to our school. We will give them the best education coupled with biblical teachings and guidance. Number two, we are very grateful that at school we teach them character. Capital C. C, C. Christian character. Many times in a math competition, in the last level of the competition, do or die challenge, I see two contestants competing against each other, not in uniform. But you know, Christians, I know which one belongs to grace. How do I know? Not because of their face, because of their character. The way they interact, the way they speak, the way they answer, the way their politeness to the judges, their attitude towards the other contestants and other attributes. This is our training to our students and it stems from their heart, the Grecian Christian character. All of our teaching is based on biblical principles. I've often emphasized two things. Number one, we must possess a biblical worldview. What does that mean? In other words, look at the world. What's happening through the lens of the Bible? It will be meaningful and lasting. The Bible should be our compass in life and also our anchor in life as we sail the oceans of this world. Secondly, I would like to stress Christian apologetics. What is Christian apologetics? It is looking at the Bible, not only what it you believe in, catechism, memorize it. That's good, but not enough. Not only know what you believe, but know why you believe. Why is it? Why are you a Christian? Why? Are you have this viewpoint? Yes, no, not only what, but why you believe. This is Christian apologetics, and we have stressed our students. Even today, this is very important, Christian apologetics. We are training our students constantly for this inherent insight. Even today, as they go to cyber teaching, train them during this pandemic situation where teaching is done at home. Parents, what a privilege and opportunity to teach them personally at home, where your children spend time at home and you work at home policy, where we can teach them this concept, Christian apologetics, and they have all the time with you. Train them in Christian apologetics. Teach them a Bible, biblical worldview. With this combination, your child can grow up, mature, and serve our Lord and society in a very unique way and contribute to mankind. Number three, your spiritual maturity. I'm very glad that many of you have grown spiritually. Don't forget that education coupled with Bible teaching will give your child a strong foundation for your child to live by. You may ask, how can I learn more? Yes, 
we have thought about that. We have put together just recently something for you, alumni, students. The book of Revelations will be taught verse by verse. You may go to our website, gcc.edu.ph. It is a new series by Dr. Paul Lee Tan, the Bible scholar and theologian, on the book of Revelations. He will teach Revelations verse by verse. This series started just three weeks ago. You can access it free of charge. Dr. Paul Leetan, my second brother, a noted Bible scholar and theologian, will be teaching Revelations verse by verse. And Dr. Christine Tan will be co-teaching with him. You may not know, Dr. Christine Tan has led tours to the Holy Land. How many times? More than 30 times, tour to the Holy Land. How many times have we gone to the Holy Land? She has been there 30 times. Look at the knowledge. Look at the insight that she has gone. You will learn from her also, teaching revelations with Dr. Paul Litan. This is one site that you can access for free, even today. The second source of our knowledge, or more for you Christians, knowing more in our, is our Facebook. A GCC Facebook. Go to the Grace Christian College Philippines Facebook the th and learn more of our happenings. It's there. I'll post the schedule there. Our Facebook has a lot of happenings for the school. And you can see the, our choir, elementary choir, high school choir, even kindergarten, even your name, your face may be there. Go to our Facebook uh, and rehash the teaching you went through while you were at Grace. The third is YouTube. As you know, YouTube is really very fascinating, and many of our activities are there. These things you can rehash, and thank God that you were at Grace Christian, and you are a Christian. So learn about the school, your school, and then to be attached to our school through our Facebook, and our YouTube, and the series uh, of Dr. Paul Tan. Your alma mater, love our mater, it is not perfect, but pray for them, help us. We need your help to grow into the best school that you can be proud of. The fourth are our achievements. Yes, grace, gracious, our alumni, we have graduated a lot of major achievers, a lot. And you, you are one of them. Today, Senator Wing Gatsalian is one of our main speakers. I heard him and wow, I, I admire him. How he talks about our school. I'm proud of him. The first Chinese heritage senator, young, energetic, and very well respected in the community as well as the education community. I did talk to him about a month ago. He really appreciates our school. He says that he is proud of our school, how we trained him, how we molded him to be what he is today. We are very blessed to have him today speak to us, alumni, because he too is an alumni. We are proud of him. Entrepreneurship, I cannot cite enough. Many of our graduates are successful entrepreneurs, very creative. I don't have time to cite all of them, Yes, our training at Grace, with God's help, in many unique areas is bearing fruits. And being recognized not only locally, but also in Southeast Asia and also internationally. I can cite sorts of scores of other achievers, and perhaps I'm talking to one of you now. Congratulations, we honor you. Lastly, I hope that all of you can come back to your alma mater to visit us anytime. We remember you and we are proud of you. Continue what we have taught you and trained you when you were learners in our school. Now you are leaders. Pray for our school. There are lots of opportunities and challenges in our school and God is gracious to us, I thank him all the time. Pray for us every day 
that God will continue to bless our school. We will continue to grow with great plans for our school and the future to progress and to make it the best Christian school ever that you can be proud of. Modesty aside, I would like to let you know that I was awarded an honor to be the model principal, Mo Fan Xiao Chang, Mo Fan Xiao Chang, Bo Huan Hao Tiu, by the Inchik Foundation in Cebu, among all the Chinese schools in the Philippines. This is really God's gift for me. I don't deserve it, but I give all the praises to the Lord. It is because of the training we give to our students, our alumni. This is a reflection and a recognition of the achievements of that grace has given to the educational community, especially the Chinese education in the Philippines. God is gracious to us. I give all the thanks to God, and we will continue to stress Chinese in our school. In fact, we will, if besides Mandarin, we will stress Fukienese to our students, and that is important. I've always told our students, all our great students, at least they know four languages. They know English, no problem. Our English is superb. They know Chinese, Mandarin, they are good in Mandarin, and they are getting better. Fukien, Dang Lang Wei, Hokkien Wei. Wow, very important also. Fukien is language, and that's also called Taiwanese. Number four, Tagalog is partly Spanish. So I say, Gracians, you are fortunate. We are a school that, before you graduate, you know four languages. Wow, multi languages. And with the four languages, they can achieve, really, anywhere in the world. So yes, we will give them the best academics, the best language that makes the best uh, efficiency in linguistics. And above all, knowing the Bible is the key to knowledge, the key to understanding character in us is very important. Alumni, Gracians, thank you for your support to our school. Thank you very much, North American alumni, for the celebration of our 70th anniversary. One verse I'd like to share with you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. May your light so shine before men that they may use you, see your good works, and glorify God in heaven. Also, I'd like to be an ambassador. The Bible says, you are an ambassador for us. Yes, all of you Christians can be ambassadors for the Christ. Why? You represent the heavenly kingdom. On earth, you are ambassador. Give glory to the Lord as ambassador. And finally, come visit us in the Philippines. Be a Balik Grace. Balik Grace alumni. Balik Gracian. I'd like to talk with you. And you can come and talk with Dr. Christine. Share with us what you are doing. I'd be very glad to know what you're doing wherever you are. Come, share with us, and pray for her as she has an important and unique mandate. Talk to us. We love to share with you the blessings God has given our school. Shashanim 我们的教会教育好友教育出来的分子是真一定一定的因为他们的上帝的圣灵在那边他们的上帝的教育品格在那边多谢你上帝的教育
to give the best education to your children. And you, as parents, let us cooperate together, partner together to give them the best, especially during this pandemic situation. And may God bless you. Alumni, we are proud of you. May God bless you in whatever you are undertaking. Thank you. Good day, everyone.